Okay then, so we've got our magical green eye night device. But we've got a helmet. We want to combine the two. How are we going to do that? So this is going to be a, a absolute basic 101 bare bones guide to how, how we're mounting night vision on a helmet. I'm not an expert in this night vision stuff, but uh, I posted my PVS on Facebook a little while back and a fair few people had questions about what all these different components are actually called in the in the mounting system. So I'm just going to run through that now. To start off with that, we're just going to take it apart, disassemble all of what you see, and, uh, and then we'll go through the names of what the hell it all is. But I'm not going to talk about the actual night vision today. I'm not going to talk about helmets or this helmet setup. This, is, this rig is not finished by any stretch. I've got parts in the way for that. What I'm going to talk about is interfacing your lid with your night vision. So the first part, and this is something I got confused about initially, is the shroud. So the metal plate that goes on the front of the helmet, that's your shroud. Um, there's pretty much one common type as seen here that comes standard on ops cores. They are differentiated by the number of holes they have. So this is a three hole. As you can see, there are three screws and three holes in the lid to accept the shroud. Obviously you want to make sure you've got a good quality one because if this breaks, comes off the helmet, then uh, you're losing your night vision. So part one, the shroud. Part two is the mount. Now this is the Wilcox L4 G24, which is a hell of a lot of numbers and letters. This is what's widely regarded as like the gold standard one, pretty much for most things, uh, for the, like the common night vision that's out there, that sort of thing. But again, you want to make sure you've got something well made so it has the adjustments, so it's going to be reliable for you. Uh, and again, so shroud on the helmet, mount goes onto the shroud. Next part in the train, as it were, is your J-arm. Roughly J-shaped-ish, kind of. And it's an arm. So this is what obviously uh, takes the night vision, because you've got your sh the uh, mount going down the center. And then the J-arm is what takes the monocular out to the side or if you've got binocular night vision you'll have a different sort of arm system that goes out either way now the point to note here is that you need to make sure your j-arm not only interfaces with your night vision but also interfaces with the mount in this case we have a dovetail in both the j-arm and the mount so they fit together nicely, but you can also get bayonet fittings. And they tend to be on the, the Narotos Rhino stuff, which is common US Army issue gear. Uh, you can pick that up very cheap on eBay. Um, so if you want a, a basic starter mount and J-arm for some night vision, uh, get yourself some, some Rhino stuff. Make sure you get the matching dovetail to dovetail or bayonet to bayonet do your due diligence and make sure that the mount is also going to go to the shroud and, and interface correctly and be, be of the correct type. So we've got one end of the J-arm covered, we've got the dovetail. And the other end, in this case, is a, quite a large, coarse thumb screw that's going to go into this PVS-14 here. Screws in just like that. Don't need to absolutely crank down on it. It's got a spring underneath which helps maintain the tension. And then I'm going to dovetail nicely into the mount. And there's a, a nice basic secure setup in this case, because it's Wilcox. I can switch eye. We've got adjustment further and closer to the face. We've got angle of view straight through there. We can go up and down. And obviously we can fold the device up out of the way. Um, there's a lot of options on the market. Just basically, guys, be sure to buy what's going to be compatible. Make sure you get a set of stuff that's going to work together. Generally, you want to pretty much stick to the same brand for all these things. Get the same brand, J-Arm, as mount is going to be a good shout. Make sure they're both a dovetail connection or they're both a bayonet connection. Make sure that the mount is the right type for the shroud. There's, as I say, one common type, and there's one main common type for these shrouds. 
but you want to double check that. Make sure that whatever night vision device you've got, because uh, some of them will have a piece of pick rail up here. Some of them have the screw hole. There's different things depending on uh, some weird different commercial stuff, that sort of thing. Now, this is primarily applicable to like military grade gear, like Gen 2, 2 Plus, Gen 3 night vision. Um, your cheaper commercial stuff, Gen 1, well, generally I wouldn't advise you even buying it in the first place. Gen 2 Plus is, I'm going to say, is the minimum that you want to invest in because you really need to save up because anything else, it's like you might as well just buy a torch, to be honest, but that is a whole different video. I know some people won't like me saying that, but you, you, know, you ask uh, guys who are really, really into night vision know a lot more than I do and they are going to say the exact same thing. So again, guys, you got your night vision device, you got your J arm that goes between the device and your mount. Mount goes between the J arm and the shroud on the helmet. Shroud is obviously the interface between the mount and the helmet itself. Make sure you get good quality parts. Um, it's going to cost you a bit, I'll be honest. If you want good, uh, if you want a good J arm, if you want a good mount, um, if you want a good shroud, you've got to buy a good helmet because they'll tend to come with one and you've got to put the money into buying these parts because there's no point dropping a load of money on night vision. Or if you're like going crazy on like white Foss dual tubes, it's going to be thousands. Don't skimp. Get like good Wilcox stuff. Um, at the minimum, get the uh, Narotos Rhino gear. Any questions you have, guys, please do put them down in the comments. Um, I might do further night vision videos talking about different aspects of the actual devices themselves that sort of thing or helmets or whatever you're interested in just let me know check out the social media links down in the description below and thank you for watching i will see you next time